This is your Barbados Today Morning News Update for Tuesday, August the 28th. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. Topping the news at this hour, credit card charges for supermarket shopping, a $900 restaurant bill, a television, and more than $1,000 in duty-free purchases by yet another leader of the National Union of Public Workers are being challenged as unauthorized transactions. This has been told to Barbados Today by a source close to the development. Barbados Today also learnt that the decision-making body in the NUPW, concerned at a two-year pattern of high credit card spending, has called for scrutiny of the union leader's charge card bills. Just one month after President Akani McDowell was called to account for alleged unauthorized use of the union's credit card, General Secretary Rosin Smith is to be quizzed by the union's National Council later this week for a credit card bill of $13,000. But Smith, backed by General Treasurer Asa Corey Beckles, has rubbished these accusations of unauthorized purchases in the last 10 months. A rare open hearing of the Joint Select Committee of Parliament on the proposed Integrity in Public Life Bill 2018 was warned yesterday that the legislation alone will fail to keep politicians honest. The warning came from Sir David Simmons, the former parliamentarian, cabinet minister and attorney general on the several administrations of the governing Barbados Labour Party who rose to become Chief Justice of Barbados. But as he addressed the parliamentary committee, Sir David spoke as the man who helped establish the Turks and Caicos Islands Integrity Commission that he currently chairs. The former Chief Justice, one of two eminent persons making oral submissions to the committee in the Senate chamber, recommended that an Integrity in Public Life Act must be part of a package of related laws in order for it to get the job done of fighting corruption. You need a code of conduct. But more particularly, with respect, Honorable Attorney General, I'd like to suggest that you need legislation to regulate campaign financing of political parties. And you need a Freedom of Information Act. I think those two, plus the Code of Conduct and this legislation, as a suite of legislation, will, <clears throat> will ensure that Barbados has taken proper steps towards providing minimum standards for good governance and the conduct of persons in public life. The other oral submission was made by head of the management studies at the CAFL campus of the University of the West Indies, Dr. Fillmore Allen, whose doctoral thesis was on whistleblowing. Dr. Allen, who also taught governance and ethics at the CAFL campus, shared some of the findings of a 2017 study he conducted on behalf of the UWI on corruption. Respondents believe that there's political interference in business some 89 percent and they also believe that there's political interference in the judiciary that is extremely high there's also a belief that there's pervasive corruption and fraud in business and government there's also a belief that government is perceived as not being accountable and transparent and fourthly and more importantly, is that government is perceived as not being serious about tackling corruption. Meanwhile, a former police officer turned taxi man was granted $30,000 bail when he appeared in court on fraud charges yesterday. It is alleged that Denorado Mundell of Austin Drive, Eden Lodge, St. Michael, with intent to defraud, tried to obtain more than $171,000 from CIBC First Caribbean International Bank Limited on August 21st via two forged checks made payable to him and drawn from the account of W.H. Bryan Limited. Mundell was not required to plead to the indictable charges when he appeared before Magistrate Douglas Frederick with his attorney, Naomi Linton. There's regional and international news after this short break.
Barbados Today, news you can trust. Welcome back with news from the region now. Police in Jamaica are probing the gunning down of a woman mere meters away from a police station in the parish of St. Andrew. According to TVJ, she is a 29-year-old hairdresser who had earlier been seen talking to the possible suspect in a car. Reports to our news center are that shortly after 1 o'clock, Ms. Jarrett was walking near her home when a car drove up beside her. She had a brief conversation with the driver, but then ran off. She was chased by a man who came out of the car. She fell, and the man shot her several times, killing her on the spot. The suspect then escaped. Investigators are now searching for a man who they suspect had been communicating with Ms. Jarrett. And on the international scene, the U.S. and Mexico have reached common ground on key trade terms as pressure mounts to complete renegotiation of the 25-year-old North American Free Trade Agreement. U.S. President Donald Trump, a frequent critic of the existing deal, announced the apparent breakthrough on Monday. It's an incredible deal. It's an incredible deal for both parties. Most importantly, it's an incredible deal for the workers and for the citizens of both countries. Uh, our farmers are going to be so happy. You know, my farmers, the farmers have stuck with me. I said we were going to do this. And Mexico's promised to immediately start purchasing as much farm product as they can. They're going to work on that very hard. And uh, as you know, we're we're working unrelated to this. We're working uh, very much with other countries. Uh, China is uh, one. They want to talk. And it's just not right time to talk right now, to be honest with China. It's been uh, it's too one-sided for too many years, for too many decades. And so it's not the right time to talk. But eventually, I'm sure that we'll be able to work out a deal with China. And that's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Now, you can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.